Hello students, welcome back to my YouTube channel Data Shark. We have started a new series, uh, Probability Distributions, in which I have discussed what is discrete distribution, what is continuous distribution. So today in this lecture, I'll be talking about uh, the one of the discrete distributions that is uniform discrete distribution. So this would be our first dis discrete distribution. And after that, we will be discussing binomial, Poisson and so on. So let us consider uni uh, uniform distribution. A discrete random variable has a discrete uniform distribution if each value of the random variable is equally likely and the values of the random variable are uniformly distributed throughout a some specified interval. So equally likely, I have already explained this in uh, my previous lectures, that equally likely is basically when all the, uh, the probability is actually the same for all the uh, values of the random variable. So like uh, if we toss a coin, then the probability of getting a one, two, three, or a six is one by six, okay? And if we are uh, tossing a coin, then uh, it would be um, either head or a tail. So then we'll be talking about uh, the probability of getting a head would be half. Probability of getting a tail is half. So these are equally likely events. So uh, a discrete random variable is said to have a uniform distribution. If we have the probability mass function as if P of X is equal to XI is equal to one upon N, the capital N here denotes uh, the how many numbers do you have? Like uh, for a point, we just have one and two, right? So it's either a head or a tail. And uh, then uh, for um, uh, die, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So your N would be uh, six. So this is our probability mass function. And uh, here you could see the graph uh, where you could see uh, this is U one comma six. That means uh, this is how we denote a uniform distribution as it is represented by this that x is a random variable and it belongs to a uniform distribution with the, the uh, it's where the i is starting from one and going up till capital n so here you would see uh, here in this case capital n is equal to 6 so what would be the probability mass function for this this would be equal to 1 upon 6 and as we know 1 upon 6 uh, this is valid for all the i's going up to 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 1 upon 6 is nothing but uh, 0 0.1667, or I can approximately say 0 0.17. So here you would notice uh, that uh, if you could see this is our x, right, uh, the values of the random variable. So we are starting with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and all of them are equally likely events. So all of them have the same probability of 0 0.17. So that's how you could see whenever uh, we are talking about uniform distribution, so it will have uh, the same probabilities whenever we have any event. So uh, now let us discuss uh, the mean uh, variance and the moment generating function, how we could calculate it. So the mean or the expected value of a discrete uniform random variable is uh, given by the expectation of x, e of x, that is n plus one by two. So uh, We'll be doing the proof as well. So let me uh, take a white board. So here we'll be discussing the E of X, the expectation. The How do we calculate the expectation of a discrete distribution? We take the summation. So here I is going from uh, one to N. So X size multiplied with the respective probabilities. So here we just need to fill up the values. So this would be I going from one to n, x is multiplied by one upon n, as we have just discussed. So as one upon n is a constant value, so we can take it outside from the summation. And we are only left with the x size. Now, what does this mean? Uh, the XIs, as we know, uh, are ranging from 1, 2, 3, going up till N. 
So as you could see, this is the sum of the first n natural numbers. So uh, we have already, you might have done this, the sum of first n natural numbers are given by n into n plus 1 by 2. So you will just cancel this and we'll get the answer as n plus 1 upon 2. So this is how we can calculate the expectation or the mean of a uniform random variable. Similarly, uh, we can calculate the variance of the random uniform random variable. So now let us discuss about the variance of the uniform random variable. So variance of x, as we know, is given by P of expectation of x squared minus the mean whole square. Now, first of all, we have already calculated the expectation of x. Now we will uh, find out P of x squared. So expectation of x squared would be summation uh, xi squared into the probability xi i going from 1 to n. So all the steps would remain the same here. This is 1 upon n. So I can take 1 upon n common outside. So of the summation. So now we are talking about this sum of the squares of the number up, up till n. So this would be 1 square, 2 square, 3 square, going up till n square. So this is given by n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 upon 6. So thus, I can say the expectation of x squared is nothing but n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 upon 6. Now, we can calculate the variance. P of x squared minus the mean whole square. So, just substituting the value here. n plus 1, 2n plus 1, 1, 6, minus n plus 1, 1, 2, whole square. So on solving this, we will get, uh, I can take n plus 1 upon 2 common, so from both, so I am just left with this inside. So now taking the LCM, I can write this as 4n plus 2. So this is minus 3 times n plus 1. So this is 3n minus 3. So I will get here n plus 1. This is 4n minus 3n is n. Minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1 upon well, so that's nothing but n squared minus 1 upon 12. So this is how we can calculate the variance of a uniform random variable. Now, the next uh, that is very important is again the uh, marginal, uh, sorry, the moment generating function. So how we can calculate the moment uh, MGF of a uniform random variable. It is calculated by, uh, represented by MXT, which is the expectation of e raised to the power Px. So by the definition of the expectation, this would be summation i going from 1 to n, xi, um, not xi, e raised to the power Px into the probabilities of each xi. That is 1 upon n. So we can take 1 upon n outside and we are just left with e raised to the power p whole x. So now we could uh, calculate the answer. We can now uh, open this. So we will get 
raised to the power 2 t, p raised to the power 3 t, up till p raised to the power n t. So, taking e raised to the power t common from the bracket, we are left with this. Now, as we know, this is a geometric series. Uh, we have the n terms. So the sum of the uh, geometric progression is sum of g where it is given by uh, the s 1 minus r raised to the power n upon 1 minus r, where r is less than 1. So uh, R is the common difference. A is the uh, first number of the series. So as here, uh, A is 1. And the common ratio is A raised to the power T, as you could see here. So it is always less than 1. So we just substitute uh, the values. So this would be um, 1. 1 minus R is A raised to the power NT upon 1 minus raised to the power three. So this is what we get. So just multiply for them and this would be our final answer. So this is the marginal uh, moment generating function of uh, the uniform random variable. So uh, in the next lecture, so we will be talking about the examples of the uniform distribution. So stay tuned. If you have not uh, subscribed to my channel, do subscribe it and hit the bell uh, icon to get the notifications of the new videos. So we will meet in the next lecture.